everyone watching, everybody in the GoGo Loop, all the YouTube subscribers, everybody that's been supporting and following GoGo Loops. I'd like to thank everyone who's been um, purchasing our products and uh, showing us support on social media and what have you. Uh, today, I want to show you how to load up a session from scratch and load in the the samples and loops to uh, make a beat because it, it seems there's a little confusion on some and some some of the producers I've talked to they seem to um, maybe need a little help with loading the sounds in and, and how you go about doing that so I'm gonna do it with reason and logic I got reason five I got the old reason I need to get reason eight but I'm a little late but I got reason five and logic ten and I'm going to show you uh, how to load samples and loops from scratch into a sampler and play them on your pads and your keys and get them coming through MIDI. Alright, so here we go. So I'm going to open a, a logic section here. I'm new. I'm going to select software instrument, create a software instrument. Go over here where it says instrument and load up the ultra beat drum synth. After you do that, got two screens working here. Go where it says factory default and drum kits, drag and drop samples. And here, the keys right here from C1 on up. That's where you start to load your samples. So I'll go here, sample one, click this arrow, load sample. I got um, all my drum kits on my hard drive. You want to make sure when you load these sounds in, when you get your drum kit, your Go -Go Loops kit, or your drum kit. You put them in a folder where they're going to stay, like your logic folder, or you want to keep them kind of all together in a folder so that when you move stuff around, or if you move, you ever move where the first location of the drum folder was where you put the drum sounds and samples, then you don't want it to mess up sessions later and get it confused. So make sure you, you know, you, you pull in the files from a stationary place where the folder is. So I'm going to go to the swag kit. And uh, I'm going to get a kick drum. So, as you see right here, that thing hot too. That's the, the, the pearl, kick pearl. You can turn it down here. And you can go to sample two. Go to here. You can load your snare. There you have it. You can go to three. Load in hi hat maybe. Go to four. I'm gonna load in another hi hat. Right in four. I'm in the open hi hat. go you can add your toms however you want to do symbol crashes I'm just gonna load that in for right now but like I said you just keep moving up moving up the keys and add more sounds um, I'm gonna add some Congos matter of fact I'm gonna add some Congos so we can do a we can do a beat
put them all on the white keys, so I'm skipping. So let's skip to. I'll have to skip because that's E to F. So right here on six, I'm going to put the second column. There. Skip seven, we'll go to eight. So I can have them all on the white keys next to each other. So I can crank them joints right. Uh, where they go? Put the ones go flex. Put flex on them. We'll go to ten. So, as you can see, that's your basic, that's basically what you need for a beat. Kick, snare, hi-hat, and some uh, congas. So you just load them in, close that up, set your tempo. Most go go between 80 and 90. Or we'll have whatever type of music you're doing. It's not just for go go, but they just go go style drums. You know, come from the go go world. But, uh, so, alright. So you click on. Say so you make a little something like that. Copy, duplicate the track. Throw a snail on that. Add another track. Throw your hi hat on. Turn that down a little bit more. Easy. you get that hi hat to cut off I forget but anyway throw some congos in there close that Light work. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. And then like I say, you can go back and add in. You add in more sounds all the way up. However you want to do it. Or just add more um ultra beat. Just get go to a new track. That software instrument. You can add more ultra beats and, and you know have your congos on one, have your drums on one, however you wanna do it. Let me see, I got a drum kit I already made. And I think I got the hi-hat right on that one. That, that it's like the thing that make the hi-hat cut off short. It's a cut off switch, I don't remember. 
exactly what it was, but I, I had it on here. Okay, hold up. Pause for the call.